Pollo Mexicana is a traditional homestyle Mexican dish with many variations, but the general theme is chicken cooked in salsa with cheese on top. This dish is not commonly seen in restaurants because it tends to have a bad reputation with housewives making it with unseasoned chicken boiled with bottled salsa and then covered with processed cheese. The two keys to this dish are well-seasoned chicken and an intense fresh salsa. If you like spicy Mexican food, this is sure to be a huge hit, and it really isn't that hard to make. Well, the first thing we're going to do is, is get the uh, skin off of these tomatoes, just to make a conical incision here in, to remove that, and a little X. And we're going to blanch these in hot water as the usual. And after a minute, you know, put them in the ice bath, let them sit here for a little bit, then we can peel the skin off easily. I have put all of the seasoning mix for the chicken, including the salt, into the spice mill. Everything except the flour. The flour is the only thing I'm not putting in here. I've got <clears throat> half a kilogram of boneless skin on on chicken thighs and we're going to dredge these in the seasoning mix. Um, your goal here is to uh, toss it around enough until all of the seasoning has been absorbed by the chicken. Now when we uh, actually go to fry this we'll have to uh, <laughs> take each piece and, and kind of position it around again so that you've got the, the flat skin side will go down into the pan. And I have a nonstick pan here heating with some vegetable oil Again, pieces in, skin side down. Okay, they're all in the pan, and, and just to show you, there's no seasoning mix left over. It was all absorbed by the chicken. Well, the chicken is browning here. We've got uh, a whole head of garlic that I've uh, peeled. Uh, we've got 45 grams of green chilies. Really, these should be jalapenos. I can't get jalapenos right now, so I'm going to have to use this kind of green chili. Uh, an onion is about 250 grams of onion. Um, and these uh, tomatoes that have been blanched, and, and now I'm going to peel them. After about 10 or 15 minutes, you've cooked them on both sides. They're very brown, very nicely cooked. And I'm going to take these off, hold these to the side for a little bit. And we're going to add those coarsely chopped tomatoes next. The pan, uh, the temperature's been lowered um, to about 5 on 1 to 10. We're going to cook these for a couple minutes. After uh, 3 4 minutes, the tomatoes have started to soften. We're going to add coarsely chopped onion to this. And Here's the green chilies, the garlic, and the cilantro, including the stems that's all chopped up. This is essentially our salsa, fresh salsa. And after a few minutes, this vegetables all begin to soften as you can see. I'm putting the pieces of chicken back in here on top. Uh, skin side up. Now we have some juices accumulated in the pan that the chicken drain in. This is almost all chicken fat. It's up to you. Okay, now we're going to put the lid on it. We're going to begin the timing. This is going to be 30 minutes with the lid on, and I'm reducing the heat down to about 3 on 1 to 10. You can see it through here. This is the amount of simmering we want to see. Okay, it's been 30 minutes now. I'm going to add the liquid smoke, about 10 or 15 milliliters of it. I'm reducing the heat down now to about one and a half, very low simmer, and I'm going to put the lid back on for about ten more minutes. And when that time is up, I'm going to remove the uh, chicken pieces. Try not to get too much of the 
mixture that's underneath them on it. I'm going to remove these to a platter and then we're going to continue reducing this sauce just a little bit more. Okay, now I've turned the heat back up to like seven and a half and I've blast this a little bit and thicken this up a little bit now. And after four or five minutes of this, you've driven off most of the moisture as you can see. Now you can kill the heat. The sauce is ready. Chicken. And when it comes time to actual service, we're going to reheat this by putting uh, some cheese on it, passing it under the broiler, flashing it under the broiler uh, to melt the cheese and rewarm the chicken. The soles of chicken. cream on top of this. Some minced scallions. Also look for my cocktail book, Cocktails of the South Pacific and Beyond, Advanced Mixology, available through Amazon online.